I'm really excited. Uh, it's a long time coming, and <laughs> guess that's not a clap sync. I am the eccentric CEO. I think I'm gonna call this video. I've realized that there's a lot of turmoil, stress, heartache in the world right now. And it's because of Donald Trump. Honestly, Donald Trump is a villain in this world at this point. There are so many things wrong with Donald Trump. He's rude. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay, I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Narcissistic. Oh, you know, I'm like a smart person. Abusive. Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? And just generally a degenerate. But I do believe that no one is beyond repair and this is how we're gonna heal him. So here are my top five ways to heal Donald Trump. Five, we're gonna start with meditation. His mindset is all wrong. We need to shift his perspective from a scarcity and lack to an abundant mind state. Meditation is a practice that people have used for centuries to gain spiritual enlightenment and general peace of mind. Donald Trump is constantly angry. He shouts at everyone. He has anxiety. That's why he's building this wall. In order to remove that from him, we need to practice meditation. I did a 10 day meditation retreat called Vipassana, where you eat a vegetarian diet and relax and really focus on your internal thoughts and you meditate for over eight hours a day. This was one of the most beneficial ways I healed my anxiety, so I know it can work for him. Number four, yoga. We need yoga because it is the mind-body connection. It is the union. That's what it literally means. Think about it. Donald's always angry and upset and you always see him hunched over like this. If he draws the shoulders back and down the spine, he'll have more heart space open. His heart chakra will literally be exposed. Exposed. <laughs> exposed, 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 exposed. You are exposed, sir. I'm gonna expose you. <laughs> Who is that YouTuber? Pima. Who is that YouTuber that does exposed? T. I don't know. My sister watches him and I freaking love it. T spill. I don't know. Exposure. <laughs> anyway, shout out T spill because I'm gonna expose you. <laughs> Not you, but Donald Trump. Anyway, <laughs> starting with yoga, this essential asana that Donald will need really starts with downward dog, upward facing dog. If he really focused on a vinyasa flow, his chaturanga leaning to pressing forward inhale exhaling to downward facing dog his the linkage of the breath and the body will really open his his chakras wheel pose would be amazing for donald but i don't think that his body is capable of doing that right now so we'll you know amend it to bridge pose there's nothing, nothing beats it. Number three, Donald needs community. He's constantly surrounded by yes men, narcissists, white supremacists, xenophobes, homophobes, all these people that don't have humanity's highest evolution at heart. He needs a change of environment. It's actually scientifically proven that you cannot heal in the same place that you were damaged. Bring it back. You cannot heal in the same place that you were damaged. Donald did not have the struggle. He does not know what it takes to survive in this world. He does not understand what the repercussions for the laws he's imposing on people. So my suggestion is that Donald needs to travel. And I know you're probably thinking like, oh, he's the president of the United States. He travels everywhere. No. Donald travels and then he goes to stay at the Ritz Carlton or like, some other fancy hotel. He does not immerse himself in the culture of any other place he's been. He imposes his own culture on the places he goes. Number two is plant medicine. Donald has a lot of issues with parasites in his body. He eats ketchup with steak, for example. Like, it confuses me. Yeah, also, I was so pissed when he was feeding these high caliber athletes McDonald's. Who still eats McDonald's? 
but really though. If Donald adapted a raw food lifestyle, the information that comes from raw living organic foods will be transmitted into his mind and he will understand that we are all one being. And so when he hurts other people, he's technically hurting himself. Donald will need to go on a strict regimen of cucumber, dandelion, aloe vera juice for inner and outer beauty and detoxification, smoothies in the morning, fruit smoothies, red for the root chakra. So we're thinking beets and raspberries, things of that sort. So he can become grounded into what it's like living on planet fucking Earth. Number one is intention. None of these suggestions that I just you know, went through with you guys would even work unless Donald has the intention to heal. Everything starts with your own will and want to do better and be better. Donald right now has no reason to want to be better. He's got money and cars, fame, all these things that society right now deems as important, which they aren't. This is a spiritual world. And if people are really focusing on material and out external forces and factors, they're not doing the inner work necessary to be their best selves and help uplift humanity. In conclusion, in order to fix and really heal number 45, we're gonna need to meditate, eat healthy, linking the mind and body with movement, which is yoga, surround ourselves with a positive and uplifting community, and finally, the power of intention. We all can help him if we send this intention to him. Let's do that. I hope it worked. You can find me from the information in the description box below. Follow me, like this video, subscribe. Oh yeah, and Google Play and iTunes whenever I start that shit. Yeah, oh my God. My first video, ah! I was so nervous to do this. God dang, so hard. I struggle with putting myself like really like this out there. Thank you. Mm, we were just finishing up, but I'll. Oh yeah, but we're recording, so hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, follow Nika at Nika Diggs. She talks about plant medicine and plant-based foods and holistic lifestyle. Exactly. Hi, my name is Kimora Brock. My name is. Kimora Brock. I am the eccentric CEO. Me, me, me.